Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You will notice something different. Not just the place where I am hauling, um, it's in my kitchen, but the quality of my video is a bit better. Um, I will tell you that I got a new camera today. First, let me explain that when I ordered that new camera, I think in December, I used gift cards. I didn't pay anything for it. It was pretty much a piece of crap. Um, it was really teeny tiny and it was just a piece of crap. I finally got around to setting it up. Oh, last weekend, I think. And the picture was just okay, but the sound was horrendous. It sounded like I was in a tunnel. I tried to do things closer up to make it sound better, but then it was too close. And so then I went further away and then I could hardly hear anything. It was just horrible. So I have just scratched that. I'm not using that piece of crap. So what do you do when you're looking for the best kind of camera at a reasonable price for YouTube? You go to YouTube and you look it up and you do some research. And I actually ended up getting a really nice webcam. Um, you know, it's not going to be forever. It's maybe not super ideal, but for right now it works. So we are going to go with that. I feel like the quality is much better. I've done some testing. The sound is better, certainly better than that other camera I bought. So I'm excited to just have better quality videos. So it's a Logitech. Um, it's like a C920. It's some kind of a pro cam. I don't know um, what it is for sure, but I just trusted this guy and he didn't steer me wrong. It was like, I want to say $56 or $59 um, on Amazon. And I got it in two days and here we are. So I went to Dollar Tree today and I have a little bit of a haul for you. So I would like to show you that kind of stuff. So stick around and we'll get into it. And here we go. I have a lot of food today. Just because I was out of snacks, I didn't really have anything. And so a lot of the food and a lot of kind of stickers and stuff. So here we go. First thing, um, I got these Betty Crocker chocolate chip mixes. Oh, another thing, I don't have to edit my video and flip it so because it was backwards. Like, it's it's already like that. I'm so excited. Anyway, so these are the chocolate chip mixes. It just says you'll need a fourth of a cup of butter and a tablespoon of water. So I'm really excited to try those sometime. I'll probably take them over to my boyfriend's, and I got two of them. Also, they had a couple of these. I thought I would try them. I like the Frosted Flakes that I take to work, so I decided to get the Apple Jacks. Also, well, I'll wait for a second on those. I've actually found the Pop-Tarts in my store, and I don't normally ever find those. I've seen people haul them a lot. I myself have never found them, so I was excited. It is a six pack, so there's six in here, but there's three packs with two. And then I was like, well, what flavor are they? It doesn't say. So I looked, and it is a mixture. It's a variety pack. So there's one frosted strawberry, one frosted brown sugar cinnamon, and one frosted s'mores, which is fine because I like all three of those flavors. I got two of those, by the way. And then I saw these, the Velveeta Shells and Cheese Original. So I thought I would take one of those to work and see how they taste and how I like them. And if they work out well, then I will go back and get more or, you know, if they offer more and be taking those. But I didn't want to buy a bunch if I didn't think that I would like them. I'm a craft macaroni and cheese girl. So there you go. Next sack. Okay, so here's the deal with these. Easter candy. I don't buy like a lot of candy to eat like this kind of stuff for holidays. These are the Mighty Malts, the Speckled Malted Eggs, Milk Eggs. I am going to try these. I don't have, you know, I'm not, like super hopeful, but I love, love, love the Robin Eggs, the Malted Eggs, the Robin Eggs this time of year. I usually buy one bag at Easter, eat it, and then I'm done for the year. And so I'm going to try these and see if these are comparable. So there are those. And then I found the mini ones. So I'm going to see if those are comparable. 
I don't know. I'm pretty picky about my malted milk balls. So we will see. I will report back on that. Also, these looked really good. So I thought I would try these. These are cookies and cream Easter eggs. And they're, of course, individually wrapped, as you can see there. So I will give those a try. I like really anything cookies and cream tasting. So we will see. And then, again, I apparently, just like a washi ho uh, whore, I am also going to just start collecting mesh, um, decorative mesh for wreaths. But So I went ahead and got a really pretty pink one, a purple one, and a teal one. And so I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should do the wreath that I'm going to do for Easter in three different colors. We will see. We will see. But any, either way, it's really, really nice to have different colors on hand. Now I'm going to have to get a basket or something to keep my mesh wreath in because apparently I'm starting to get quite a collection of those as well. So I got those. Next. Okay, those were just the other pack of hot carts. I got these. I'm not sure if they'll be good or not, but I thought I'd try them. It's just a little snack of the Snyders of Hanover. Uh, it, they're called Pieces, Zesty Ranch. And it says naturally flavored sourdough hard pretzels. So I think they're just small pieces. I'm not a huge, huge pretzel lover. I like them sometimes. So, I don't know, Zesty Ranch, I thought I would give them a try. I'll let you know. So I got those. Oh, Lord, here we go. I love these. Mrs. Freshly's Delicious Deals, the mini donuts with the powdered sugar. These are yummy. And then these again, too, the same thing, but the Swiss rolls. Now, I'm not a Swiss roll connoisseur, and I never have been, but I feel like these taste just like the name brand. I don't know if they're a little Debbie or, or what they are, but I feel these taste just the same. You may correct me if you are wrong. Like I said, I'm not a connoisseur of Swiss rolls, but I sure like these. Okay, last bag, and probably the funnest bag, if we're being honest. Okay. Alrighty, righty, righty. Oh, this isn't that exciting. I just needed new sponges. I like the Scrub Buddy ones. I just like to replace them every so often because, you know, they get dirty and bacteria-y. And I just always think that it's good to change out your sponges every so often. And it's two-pack for a buck. I mean, you can't beat that. So there you go. And then I got these little guys. I had some for Christmas, too, and I think for fall. And I really like them. I mean, they're not, you know, the greatest, but I just think they're cute. And these are the little bunnies that have just the little dangly legs. And I just thought he was cute. His little outfit is purple. He's got a little teal shirt and a green hat. I don't know. I just thought that was cute. I sit him on my little entry entryway table into my into my living room. And then of course you all know I had to get a pink one. So there's the little pink guy. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting a cough. So there's those two. I really like those. Those were cute. And, okay, notebooks and pads and all that. So I did find these gold foiled notebooks, and I liked this, I guess, design out of all of them. There was three different designs. And I'm going to use this at my daughter's baby shower. I think that's where we'll write down everybody's gifts and all of that kind of stuff so she has that information to send out thank you notes. And then I couldn't resist these magnetic notepads by the Jot brand. It says to do, and then there's little check boxes for got it and not quite. And it is kind of a pink, dusty rose mauvey pink. I thought that was cute. And hoo hoo to do. I love it. It's got owls. And the columns here are yep and nope. So cute. And then this one too. This is for your grocery list. And I mean, come on. There's a donut and a cookie and a little ice cream cone down here. So cute. 
So I thought that would be kind of fun for a grocery list. And it says check right here, I guess, if you get them or whatever. Then there you go. So we all know I can't resist that kind of stuff. And then probably my best score of the day, which yes and no. So they had washi. Now my Dollar Tree never has washi. I think in the last year, this is the second time I've seen washi. With that being said, it is not the new washi. It is the old washi. But regardless, I still don't have them. So they're exciting because they're new to me. So there are the rainbows and the clouds and the stars. There was, a, there was other kinds, but I didn't really care for those. I just got the ones I wanted. The feathers and then the, like the navy blue flowers. So I was glad to get those because, you know, I need more washi like I need a hole in the head, right? Yeah. And, oh my goodness, that was all. I guess I thought I had more, but that was it. That was my haul. I was so excited to find the things that I did. Again, a few more Easter slash spring items out today, but not a ton. Not like I have been seen in other stores or, you know, people that haul them, but a few things here and there. And I have been excited about that, but I'll go back next week and definitely see if they put more stuff out. So that was my exciting, exciting weekly trip to, to Dollar Tree. I hope you found some things you liked, some things that you're looking for, uh, too. Just keep an eye out. Like I said, um... Last weekend, my Dollar Tree had the Eggtastic, and I was really excited about that. Um, in hindsight, I wished I would have bought a ton of them, but, you know, I didn't know for sure how they were going to work, and I just, I should have been a greedy Greta, I know, but I wasn't, but I am happy with the one that I have. So that is all, you guys. That's all I have for you tonight. Um, I will film a friend mail video coming up next. But I wanted to get this haul out to you guys. And that's all I have for the Dollar Tree haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.